Hey, my fellow Schneider drivers. Friendly Bill coming at you. Wearing the glasses today. I have to wear glasses or contact lenses at all times if I want to be able to see. So, when I get my driver's license, I have to wear my contacts or my glasses, and it is a requirement that I wear my glasses or contacts while I drive. So if I get caught without my glasses or my contacts, I'm in big trouble because my eye is, eyesight is so bad. My eyesight is so bad, and I think my parents, for their bad eyesight, they gave it to me. My whole family wears glasses or contacts. I usually wear contacts, but sometimes I wear my glasses. There are benefits to having bad eyesight. One is uh, if you ever get caught out in the wilderness and you're freezing to death, you can actually use these. You can catch the sunlight just right and you can focus the sunlight on a spot and you can start a fire. So that's one good thing about bad eyesight. But this video is about IFTA. It is IFTA time again. You have until February 1st to get your IFTA stickers and IFTA, IFTA paperwork. I'm here at the Portland Yard, and of course they are nice enough to provide me with the updated IFTA tags and IFTA paperwork. I got pulled into an inspection in California, and it was just a, uh, it was a simple inspection, but they asked to see my registration, my driver's license, my bill of lading, and my IFTA. And this was January 14th or so. And I went through my paperwork and I was like, oh no, I don't have my IFTA. But I thought that it, you didn't have to have it till February. But I went in and I gave them my paperwork and I said, they said, uh, do you have your IFTA? And I said, uh, IFTA have to. And then uh, they said, oh, you have till February. So anyway, yeah, get your IFTA. Where to put your IFTA? Um, I like to put mine in a line, actually. So it kind of shows, ah, this truck. I've had this truck on the road for three calendar years. Oh, boy. Aren't I bad? Uh, aren't I a badass? So I'm going to put it right there. You got to clean it off. Stick it on. Schneider drivers that park in Portland, they are closing this section of the employee parking lot and they are routing people home as soon as they can to get folks home to move their vehicles because they're going to put bobtails in here, bobtails for sale. Um, I moved my car, um, moved my car over here, but uh, yeah, no parking in this area for starting forever. All right, I'm on a 34 hour restart, but I wanna recap uh, what kind of miles I got. Uh, I am just a company driver and I get loads just like everybody else. else. Sometimes I get uh, loads with multiple stops. Sometimes I have to deliver empties to certain areas. Sometimes I have to move trailers. I'm just a driver just like everybody else, but I wanna go over kind of my miles as a company driver. I would say that this, I don't know if I'd say this is typical, but I think this is a pretty good 70 hours um, mile count. So yesterday 500, day before 553, day before 464, day before 513, day before 459, day before 570. And then I had a 34 hour day before, 510, 525, 505, 590. That's the best, uh, that's the best I had. Three, th 377, 504, and that's as far back as I can go. So um, my goal is of course the same as yours, to always get as many miles as I can possibly get. If I get, if I get above 450, I'm happy with that but it doesn't always happen. The most miles I ever had in a day, these are these are governed trucks, governed at 65 now. The most miles I ever got in a day was 620. 
I run California a lot. You're never going to get 600 miles in California because the speed limit's 55. You're just not in the traffic. You're just not going to get it. But so I'm pretty happy with that. But that's kind of a typical typical mileage ratio that I got 